in the hop phase itself, we want to realize that there's going to be one major difference in the last step of the approach going into the hop than there is in the long jump. The long jump, the takeoff stride, is going to really go by mid-calf, open up, and kick back through. Whereas in the triple jump, it's going to be much more like a normal running stride because we're trying to maintain our speed through three separate phases. So our last stride into the board is going to be more over the top and pull. So the long jump, the heel recovery is mid-calf. The triple jump, the heel recovery is over the opposite knee. That's the difference between the two approaches. Once we've left the ground, everything we're focusing on is out, out, up. We want to basically assume that we're trying to skip a rock across the water, that we want to keep that, that rock flat, and we want to throw it fast in order for that rock to go as far across the water as it can. Whereas if we throw the rock too high in the air, it's just going to come down and make a splash. We don't want the triple jumper to make a splash. We want the triple jumper to be able to skip across the water. Maintaining speed, being efficient, will ultimately allow us to jump the furthest. So in the hop phase, we hit the board, we run off the board, our takeoff foot comes all the way around, back to parallel, we hold it there for a split second, and then we rip it again. Our opposite leg, the drive knee, comes out, and then it comes back. If we're single arming off the board, it's out and then back. And if we're double arming off the board, it's drive out and come back. But all the action is out, not up, it's out. And in the phase, in mid-flight, all the action has to be in sequence. As the takeoff leg is coming back around, the drive knee is coming back. And as the arm goes out, it's all coming back to work together. We don't want to be in too much of a hurry to get the takeoff leg back out in front. So with that, let's bring our two athletes out and begin showing them some